Hello, my name is David Finney. I'm a technical advisor based out of Denver, Colorado. Today I'll be discussing deploying big fix agents into your environment. Um, if you have any questions from what I, what I covered today, feel free to reach out to me via email. Uh, you'll see it down in the bottom left hand corner of the screen there. Uh, and then you also have that scan code there that'll also prompt an email to me. Okay, so there's a few ways to get agents deployed out there into the environment. I'm just gonna start from the top here. Uh, you got the client deploy tool software. You have the installing the client directly from the client deploy tool wizard. That is actually the most recommended method. And then you also have the ability to use that same capability, but leveraging it from the discovered asset page. I'll show that today too. And then a good old traditional manual install. Okay, let's go and uh, jump into how that happens. Okay, so starting from the console, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the first software method. I'm gonna type in client deploy tool, there we go. And basically it is going to tell you that this is an obsolete tool. That is true because you're supposed to be using, utilizing that uh, wizard. Um, I'll show that here in the next step, just kind of working down the list. Um, it is complaining about some other pieces, but this, this still will work, so I am gonna show you. All right, so uh, you have the Active Directory method. Um, just so everybody knows, I do actually have a client here uh, waiting to be discovered. This one right here, I've dumped the uh, big fix client off of it, just so you know. And so I'm gonna go ahead and log in uh, with some just real uh, basic uh, domain admin level credentials. So I got a really flat domain um, here, but you know, like, like I said, just demonstration purposes. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna let it go ahead and scan it. Um, so there's that endpoint right there, it is domain joined. Um, so you can actually identify that target. We're actually gonna go ahead and let it install from this method just so you can see uh, you know, how this works a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and target this one. All right, click start, and there it goes. Uh, pretty quick. Um, if this does fail for any reason, there are small prerequisites like uh, file, uh, file and printer sharing, items like that. Um, there are some good support articles out there uh, for that. So anyway, this will finish uh, getting uh, installed out there. And we should hopefully get some green here in a minute. And uh, good. So it's finished. Um, again, this tool isn't uh, the best, but it is you know pretty pretty quick. So you can actually see, I, I just recently removed it there in the background right here. You can actually see the new system just showed up. And just to also show it from the client perspective, um, I went ahead and I you know, set a bear tail on here just so that we could go and look. Um, but I'm just gonna actually open up. So here's a client log right here. And you can see it's cooking. Um, so uh, those of you that don't use uh, Beartail, um, it's just a file uh, following program. You know, it's kind of like CM Trace, but it, it works really well. It's really nice for some baseline troubleshooting. Um, so anyway, that is one method there. Um, and so the other methods that you can go ahead and utilize, uh, and it would be the pretty much the exact same thing. It's still using client deploy tool in the background. I'm gonna go ahead and kill this. Um, but you also do have the ability to go ahead and leverage uh, the client deploy tool wizard, uh, which I'll show that here. Um, obviously I won't kick it off to its full extent uh, just to show you that it works because, well, it does. Um, so let's go ahead and do the client deploy tool wizard. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add the target. Um, as you can see, I'm just basically stealing from this, uh, this other system here. Um, so this IP address, since I know where it is, so 16.0.2.8. And so 172.16.0.208. There's your target. Now you can do a host name too. Um, and so you have the ability to you know leverage it that way. Now, one other quick note uh, back on the client deploy tool. Like I said, in the background, it's still utilizing this, uh, but you do have the ability to also leverage that same capability uh, through here as well. So you can see that you can actually do kind of a couple different directions. You can use uh, you know, it's, you could still use host names, I believe here, but you, you, you can primarily use even a, you know, a small subnet scan if you wanted to, or a direct IP address. Uh, these do work as well, uh, just so you know. And that's basically what we're doing is we're populating that data directly through here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and set credentials on this just so you can kind of see it all the way through. Okay. So that's set. We're going to go to next. And the deployment point. So I'm going to go ahead and click this. And you can see these are other areas where I've distributed the client deploy tool. Um, you will see a fixlet out there to provision this other places. 
uh, but I'll just send it from the root server for this example. And okay, so that is set. Um, all right, so we're good there. We can go to next. I'm gonna go ahead and set the credentials on this one. Uh, this is for the system that we're sending the software from. All righty, so that's in there. I'm go ahead and next once more. Um, gonna be installing Windows on this one. As you can tell, you can, you can actually use this tool to distribute to quite a few uh, different types of systems. Uh, provided you got the credentials, it will make its way out there. You do also have the ability to set some um, advanced settings if you wanted to. Uh, for this, this example, I'm not going to go ahead and uh, do that for this one, but um, basically just hit next. And if I hit deploy, then it will send the job, you know, through the software, you know, pretty much exactly what we did uh, utilizing that software there, but it's just pre-staging all that material. So it makes it quite, quite nice. Now I'm going to go ahead and quit out of this one. Now the other method, still again, utilizing that same software, uh, you can go ahead and run it from the unmanaged assets area. I just did a scan just a few minutes ago. Uh, just to show that um, it did find this system again. That is the same system that we've been messing with. Uh, so 172.16.0.208. Um, if you haven't used the uh, Nmap scan utilities, that's basically it's exactly as it is. It's our asset discovery capability, but it leverages Nmap uh, in order to run a scan against an environment, you know, a subnet or a range of subnets. And uh, then from there, if it discovers that there isn't an agent out there, then it'll populate it in this list. So you see it picked up a few things. Really, the only one being of my concern is this one here. Uh, but you'll uh, you'll see you know, from this, if I go ahead and actually right-click and just tell it to install BigFix client, uh, you'll see it's exactly the same thing that we were working with before. So it's the exact same client deploy tool. So it's exactly the same steps I just showed, uh, just discovering the client a different way. Now, uh, real quick note, um, if you are going to utilize the MF scan tools, uh, do not forget to install the import surface for asset discovery. Otherwise, your scans uh, won't get imported in and you won't have a client list. So just wanted to call that out real quick. All right, and the last method, manually. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring up that endpoint again. I'm gonna go ahead and dump this client out of there. Um, if you guys have never used the BES remove tool, it is very handy for quickly removing uh, some big fix components out there. So I'm gonna let that rip that off of there. And uh, basically all you gotta do to do a manual install is basically just have the, the software, you know, for your actual matching client version uh, from your uh, big fix root server. That's a good way to grab that software. Uh, then from there, uh, you do also have the capability to, well, you actually, let me rephrase that. You want to make sure you have your masthead.afxm in that same directory. So this, this when we launch this, is going to look for this. There is also a sub item that you can also do, which is bringing in the client settings.cfg. This is for, you know, pointing it to a different uh, relay or any other kind of client settings we, uh, you know, decide that we need. Um, so I just, just to kind of show you this one here. So this is, again, this is stuff that you can also leverage during the, actual client deploy tool wizard. So this would be some of those custom settings, you know, so I'm actually pointing it to a different relay in order to do that registration. And then you also have the ability to uh, change the relay selection method as well. So that makes things real easy. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and actually tell it to do that. Um, so I'm just literally gonna run the software install as you see it here. And it'll, you know, basic steps here. I'm just gonna kind of walk through it. Um, Again, you will actually have client installs uh, directories that are actually underneath your big fix. Um, if you ever use the installation generator, it'll populate some of these files, but you'll have the uh, BEZ installers folder and uh, on your root server, and that's actually another area you can source a lot of this content. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and run through the manual install real quick here. And it should just take a moment. And it's good. So it would have consumed this too. So just to kind of show that, I'm gonna open up the same file. Um, so the reason it's failing actually here, so I actually see it in the background here. So it, it is tempting to go to that relay, uh, but I actually set up this relay with relay authentication. It doesn't have that password. I didn't give it that. Um, so that would have been a client setting I should have specified, but you can kind of just see at least the way that you're able to kind of move around and do the different install types and you know kind of modify exactly the way it's meant to take place. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, so, but yeah, if there's any, any questions from any of this, you know, of course, you know, feel free to reach out, but those are the, those are the four methods that are the most common, most popular ways to deploy agents.
Thank you for joining me today for the video on how to deploy Big Fix agents. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. We are always happy to help. If you enjoyed this video, please click like. If you'd like to be notified when there's updates, please subscribe to the Big Fix TA YouTube channel. The link is below.